TLT starts from a theory of language as communication. What do you mean by theory of language? You have to know each method is coming from the development in linguistics and development of psychology. Why to have these two sciences? Because we have we have a, a language to be the material to, to to teach, okay? And we have psychology because it's something related to students. And students students are, are human being, and the science to deal with the human being is psychology. So we have development in linguistics and development in psychology. So these developments will be studied just now. So CLT starts from a theory of language as communication. The goal of language is to develop what times referred to a communicative competence to differentiate it from Chomsky's theory of linguistic competence. And these are very important. Listen one second. We have two important terms communicative competence and linguistic competence which is which is to be developed before and which is which is earlier to be discussed of course for chomsky why because here when we talk about theory of language here chomsky is the starter you know the starter the one who is developing something new in linguistics and i believe that you you have an idea about chomsky in linguistics you rem you remember these things i believe you have a course in linguistics okay you have a course in linguistics and you know uh, what's meant by chomsky's theory now yes, we sir. are going to tackle chomsky's chomsky theory in in relation to clt Chomsky developed a, a, a scientific term which is which is called linguistic competence. What is the meaning of linguistic competence? By the way, this is not explained clearly in the book. I'm going to explain this by using by using these uh, uh, I mean uh, shapes. Can you see this uh, paper? Can you see this paper? Yes. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay. What did Chomsky say? And what is linguistic competence uh, according to Chomsky? Chomsky believes that there is an internal grammar. You see this word? Internal grammar. You know the word internal? That is what is inside our brains. This is what we call internal grammar. That is what? That is in, uh, in, in anybody's brain, we have a system that is a grammar. You know the meaning of a grammar. When we talk about a grammar, we talk about system. It's not about syntax, by the way. It's any any type of systems that we have. Phonetic system, morphological system, syntactic system, we call it grammar. A grammar means system now. It's not a syntax. You know the difference between syntax and grammar? <coughs> Do you know the difference or not? Just tell me. Students. No. Uh, students, can you just you repeat me? the question? Repeat yes. The no, question, no. Please? What is the difference between syntax and grammar? Oh, um, syntax is the study of the meaning of things, but... Uh, no, this is, no, this is semantics. This is semantics. By the way, these things are tackled in, in, in linguistics. You have linguistics, uh, you studied this uh, previously with Dr. Sadiq and with Dr. Saleh now. I'm going there, to tell there you. Is, there is no difference between them. There are no, 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 no. A grammar, no, no. A grammar is something yes. wider than syntax. No, no, just listen, Fatma. A grammar is something wider than syntax. A grammar, generally speaking, means a system. System. When you say grammar, it means system. Whether phonological system, it's about phon phonology, morphological system about words, or syntactic system. Okay. Now, syntax. Syntax is the study of the sentence arrangement. That is what we call a grammar now. This is... 
Okay, so here a grammar is explained, I mean, wrongly when you say grammar, but this is not a grammar, this is syntax. Now, what, 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 what uh, Mr. Faraz teaches you is syntax, not a grammar. Grammar yes, is something wider, something wider. It means system. Any system we have, we call it a grammar. So here for yes. Chomsky, and according yes, to this, okay, yeah. If we if we wanted to uh, define grammar, we're gonna say that it's the. It's a system. It's a system. It's a system. It's a system, it's a system of, of language, but syntax and semantics, it's it's the inside no, no, it's the grammar. Part, they, they are part. Yeah, they, they are part of a grammar. Yes. Yes. They are part of a grammar. Oh, okay. Now, let us go back to Chomsky. Chomsky believes that there is internal, you see this word, I'm going to make it bigger. You see this internal grammar. You see this word? Internal, internal, internal. What does it mean? There is something inside our brain. This is what we call internal. A grammar means system. This system is what? Abstract, you know abstract? What does it mean abstract? It is not, it's, it's not, uh, I mean, definite. It is abstract. What does it mean here? It means that it is not related to specific language. We have in our brains, as a human being, we have internal grammar. These grammar, just like symbols, symbols, just like the symbols that we have in mathematics, X, Y, you see now, uh, the, these, these symbols are found in our brains. And this will make, make us competent, you know, competent, able to say sentences that are not said before. And these sentences, these sentences are, are well arranged and systematic. Is it clear or shall I repeat? Can you repeat? Yes, I'm going to repeat. Chomsky believes that human beings have internal grammar in their brains. And this grammar is abstract. It is not related to a specific language. It's only symbols. Okay? This grammar make people able to construct, you know, construct, to compose, to make sentences that are not said before, and these sentences are systematic and well arranged. Is it okay? Is it okay? Excuse me, you I'm going, I'm going to give you an example mean? before. Yes, uh, yes, why? You mean uh, when we are speaking, uh, just like a child, for example, when they yeah. are speaking, it is their uh, their uh, they have internal grammar. Ah, uh, internal grammar. Very good. Very uh, good. Uh, uh, the uh, ability yeah, of yeah. containing sentences. Uh huh. So what does it mean here? Here, does the child study grammar before he is saying sentences? Of no, course not. They, they start. So, they start so what, they, what do they have? What do they have? They have internal grammar inside their uh, uh, their minds. Uh, it, it is it is to what to to arrange their talk uh, systematically, and it is working automatically, automatically without learning. Got it or not? Now, if you ask. If you ask yourself, how how did you how did you learn how to speak your native language? I mean, not Arabic standard, but by the way, I'm not I'm talking about the standard Arabic. I'm talking about your dialect as Iraqi dialect. Does anybody give you a, a book of grammar for Iraqi dialect to make your sentences correct and well arranged? No, Can you tell me? No. No. So what does it mean? This system is working automatically because we have internal grammar and this, this will be activated to make what? To make uh, uh, 
human beings able to talk naturally because this is a system what does it mean the system the system that how can we put things in their uh, uh, in their suitable place this is a grammar that is what how can you arrange things how can you make things in system now since we said that the, this system is abstract what does it mean we are not talking about a specific language this system can work in any language this system can work in any language suppose that your native language is arabic okay this system will be activated once you are going to what to be exposed to language okay if your native language is english again it is it is going to work automatically because the system is found but what is the difference here between one language to another vocabulary vocabulary we know the word vocabulary okay what makes what 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 makes one language different from the other vocabulary that is to make arabic different from english english different from french french is different from italian okay now we have another thing just to say we have something to help people to acquire vocabulary that is what we call lad you see this 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 lad here l a d can you see it yes yes lad what does it mean lad this is abbreviation of language acquisition device language acquisition device L for language, A for acquisition, D for device. Let us explain this, what is happening. See here, uh, this circle. Can you see this circle? Yes. Can you see the circle? Here, this is the process of acquiring vocabulary. Now, suppose that we have a child, okay? Uh, learning his native language. First of all, the child will be paying attention to the new vocabulary and he is acquiring that is what getting from the outside uh, uh, let me say environment that is what from his father from his mother from anybody who's talking so he's going to what collect what to collect vocabulary this is what we call what acquiring so this is the starting point acquiring then uh, from acquiring we move to another stage that is what processing what is the processing that is what to understand what is to be acquired and to what to recognize okay he is collecting vocabulary now the child is beginning to what to collect vocabulary inside his mind we have a processing it just i want you just to imagine this just like uh, the computer you have what we have input and output so uh, between this uh, input and output we have processing what is the processing that the child here is going to recognize okay he is listening uh, to somebody who's saying chair and he is what he is considering what is chair the relationship between the word and the substance and the thing that is to be called chair so this is what we call processing. That is what recognizing. We move to another stage. That is producing. Producing. That is what? To say the word. Now, you see now, we are going to have it stage by stage. First, we have acquiring. Second, we have processing. That is to recognize. The other thing that you see now, acquiring and processing, he is doing nothing. This is passive. But with the producing, he is saying the word that he is listening before. Clear or not? Just tell me. Clear with the stages? Clear or not? Just tell me. Excuse me, doctor. Can you repeat it? Okay, I'm going to begin from the beginning. We have the first stage, it is acquiring. That is what? Getting, collecting, vocabulary that is coming from the outside from somebody who's talking 
the language. And we are talking about the child acquisition. Child acquisition. Now, the child is acquiring, collecting, uh, and getting vocabulary, new vocabulary. Then he is going to process. What is to process? To recognize in his mind. This is, is happening internal. What is internal? Inside his mind, processing. Inside his mind. Then when we move to pro produce, no. This is something just to be out. What is to be out? By saying, by talking, by pronouncing. So, so we move from processing, which is happening in mind, to producing that is coming out. Coming out. Why to come? Because he wants just to practice. This is practicing. The child wants just to practice the vocabulary. He 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 get it. He recognize it, and then he is putting it out. That is what. That is to practice it, to say it to others. Now he is listening from others. Now he is repeating. Now when he is producing, he is going to receive feedback. You know the word feedback? Feedback or not? Just tell me. Feedback. Do you know the meaning? Yes, doctor. Yes. That is the evaluation. The evaluation. The evaluation of whom? Of those who are listening to the child. Now the child is producing. Other people who are listening to the child, they are going to what? They are going to evaluate, saying that this is right or this is wrong. Now, suppose that the child is pro uh, uh, pronouncing the word chair, cheer, and saying, no, this is not cheer, this is chair. So this is what? This is feedback. That is the correction or the evaluation of the production. Clear? And uh, also, doctor, the child, he uh, trying to imitate or repeating the... Uh, it's not imitating. It's not imitating. He is going to receive the feedback. He is going to what? Uh, to receive the feedback, and he is going to correct. Uh, yes, doctor, it means it not imitate. It's not imitating. It's correction. And why to say this is circular? Because it is what? It is, it is going on. Acquiring, processing, producing feedback. Acquiring, processing, producing feedback. You see now? This is what? Circular. So here, all in all, what do we have? We have lad. We have lad to receive vocabulary. And we have internal grammar. This is the way that we, we have what? Linguistic competence. And this is what Chomsky believes. Clear? We have Excuse internal me, grammar. I just want to ask the first diagram you you uh, explained it. It is uh, so uh, the the interesting uh, of the theory or about uh, about the grammar, not the syntax. Yes, yes, it is what it's it's the system. While understand the word grammar as a system. What is a system? That is the way that we put things uh, in their places. This is this is grammar. Okay. Now it's it's a matter of arrangement, arrangement. Okay. And this is something abstract. Why to say abstract? Because it can be applied in any language. Here we talk about language in general because Chomsky theory is about language in general, not about a specific language. Clear now. So what do we have? We have two things. We have a grammar in our mind to, to what? To arrange. To arrange what? To arrange vocabulary. Now, now we, we acquire vocabulary and the grammar in our mind will arrange vocabulary and we produce sentences. Got it now? Yes. Got it or no? Yes. So yes. we have vocabulary to get it from outside and we have a grammar in our mind to arrange this vocabulary and we produce sentences. This is what Chomsky believes, and this is what we call linguistic competence. That is uh, the ability to speak the language automatically. Okay, and here, 
what is the relationship between this and CLT? Of course, uh, Chomsky believes that this is the only ability that uh, uh, the learner can uh, uh, need when uh, he wants just to learn another language because this, this, uh, I mean, this ability is found in the native language and it can be used when we learn a foreign language, the same thing. We have a system, but this system will be changed according to the language that we learn. We know the system and the system we are going to what? We are going to use it and then we are going to acquire vocabulary and then we are going to talk automatically without considering, uh, uh, I mean, the mistakes here and there. Now you see the way that I speak now in English, okay? Shall I think, how can I put this word or, the, or that word? No, because I'm speaking naturally, automatically, uh, fluently. I'm not considering this, although this is not my own language. I mean, I mean, it's not my native language. Got it now or not? Just tell me. Uh, Got it or not? Uh, yeah. Uh, excuse me, please. <coughs> about about the uh, the diagram you uh, explained it. Uh, it is it is the 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 contain of the theory this this thing diagram. Uh, so, uh, what is first, land or uh, internal grammar? No, the first is internal grammar because this this would be what this would be found. Uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, it's it's not just to, to to do it; it is already found. But here, the way that you learn, you are going to acquire vocabulary. Both of them, they are going to do uh, to, to be done uh, automatically whether this or that, you see? So we are not going to say that we begin with this or we begin with that, but we are going to have it all together because here, uh, internal grammar to, to what? To make uh, a system for the vocabulary and vocabulary that we are going to get at the same time. Get it now? So we are not going to begin with, with one and we leave the other, no. They are happening, to, uh, happening together because they are to be done automatically. You are not going to feel it. You see now, when I'm talking to you now, these these things are, are done all together. I'm not going to uh, to separate them or to make, uh, make them as stages. These diagrams that I explain, uh, just to identify the difference between internal grammar and LAT. But you have to know that the, when they are working, they are working together. Clear or not just tell me? Why? Yes. 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 <laughs> yes uh, say. Uh, you say that linguistic competence, or and you say that uh, they should uh, produce a sentence, any sentence automatically. But uh, as uh, Chomsky says, uh, he is grammatically correct. Should it is grammatically correct to produce? Gra or, grammatically uh, correct. What does it mean? Grammatically correct according to the system, uh, say. According yes. to the system of internal grammar, of course they are going to be correct. Of course they are going to be correct because you see now when they are when when you are going to say these sentences, if they are wrong, they are not going to be considered that a production because of course you are going to have some sort of correction. But we are talking about the ability and this ability here. This is uh, this is when he is saying these things. He is not going to specify this safe. You have to know that this is when you are talking about your native language, starting with the native language. And then he is saying that, or it's not only he, uh, he I mean, I'm not talking about him, but, uh, I mean, personally. Uh, we are going to say that we are going to utilize this as methodologists. We are going to say that we are going to utilize this ability to learn another language, but we begin with the native. Now, can you can uh, can you uh, say that when you are using your native language, you are going to produce any grammatical sentences? Just tell me, Steve. No, it is difficult at the beginning. Uh, so of of course, your native language. When I mean your Iraqi dialect, I'm not talking about uh, uh, the standard Arabic. I'm talking your uh, about Iraqi dialect. Okay. Uh, yes, can yes, you yes. now? Can you produce sentences that are ungrammatical? Un of course not. Yes. No, no, no. Uh, because, why? Because you have the internal grammar to do it this way. 
Got it now? So of yes. course they are gra uh, gra uh, grammatically correct. Of course they are grammatically correct because this is your native. But here we are going to say, okay, this will be used to learn what the, the foreign language. Of course, uh, we are not going to reach this point unless we are going to be uh, perfectly competent, okay? And this needs training. This is the idea. Of course, you are not able to, uh, I mean, as a learner, now you are not able to produce sentences that are uh, correct. Of course, still you are a, a learner and you have mistakes here and there. But when you are going to train, to uh, to to what uh, to 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 have this competence, it, it will be done easily. The way that I speak now, do you feel that? Do you feel that I'm I'm doing ungrammatical sentences when I'm speaking in English? Of course not, because this is related the way the related to the way that I train. So of course you are going to reach the point that I reach later. So it needs a training, but here the talk is about the native language first. Okay, Victor. Okay. Now this is this is about Chomsky. Now we uh, we go to the book. You see now, we go to the book. Chomsky focus on the abstract ability. You see now, this is what I'm saying. You remember when I say abstract? The word abstract. You see how here here abstract. Uh, I want you just to back to the book. Chomsky focuses on the abstract abilities speakers possesses that enable them to, to produce grammatically correct sentences in a language. Okay, this is what Chomsky believes, okay? that the linguistic theory needed to be seen as part of more general theory incorporated communication and culture you see now so Heinz believes that linguistic competence is not enough what what do we have also we have to have to include communication and culture how and what what is to be called the, his theory of communicative competence then what do we have for Himes? Himes have, uh, here when we talk about this, Himes here is talking about another competence that is communicative competence. Communicative competence. Here, when we talk about this, we talk about, we talk about the way that is related to Heim's theory, when we talk about his theory, was a definition of what a speaker needs to know in order to be communicatively competent in a speech community. Heim's theory offers a much more comprehensive view than Chomsky's view of competence, which is primarily with abstract gra grammatical knowledge. Again, what does this mean? Himes believe that it is not to, uh, it is not enough to have linguistic competence. You should know other factors. That is, uh, if you remember, we call it para linguistic factors to be added to linguistic competence. So here, all in all, what do we have? We have, we have. Heim's theory to say that linguistic competence to be added to culture and paralinguistic factors to result communicative competence. Clear or not? Yes, doctor. So here, for Himes, what do we need? We need lingu linguistic competence. Plus, you know, plus, plus yes. paralinguistic factors and cultural factors to have what? Communicative competence. So communicative competence means using linguistic factors and non-linguistic factors and cultural, cultural factors 
to uh, to uh, to be communicatively speaker. Is it okay? Uh, excuse me, doctor. Uh, communicative competence means uh, exposure to the society and also <clears throat> developing language proficiency through interactions. Uh, that means uh, no. You can say it. You you can say it. You you can say it differently. You are going to say uh, co uh, communicative competence means considering considering non-linguistic factors and cultural factors in addition to linguistic competence or you we, can say also we can say uh, that you can, can say also communicative competence include linguistic uh, competence non-linguistic factors cultural factors yes doctor culture fact uh, yes. doctor the culture, it means exposure and interaction with the society. Is that right? Yes, of course, of course, of course. But here, to what to, to summarize it, to summarize it, we are going to say that communicative competence includes linguistic competence, non-linguistic competence, and cultural factors. These are, uh, the, uh, here when we talk about linguistic, linguistic competence here uh, the ability to uh, speak the language but here this ability should be what should be related to the situation to the situation that we have and this is what we call non-linguistic factor cultural factor this is the idea now we move to another paragraph Another theory of communication favored in CLT is Halliday's functional account of language use. He elaborated a powerful theory of functions of language which complements Heim's view. Okay, you see now, we are talking about uh, linguists. You know linguists? Each one add to the other. We have Chomsky first, and then we have Himes. Chomsky with linguistic competence, Himes with, with the communicative competence, and then we have Halliday. Halliday is another linguist. We are going to see what, what he's saying. He is having functions. Now, Halliday is adding. Adding what? Language functions. Language functions. Okay? So here, his theory of, of the functions of language, which complements Heim's view of communicative competence, he described what seven basic functions of a language. What what they are what what are they when they are going to what they are to be described? Instrumental, regularity, interactional, personal, heuristic, imaginative, and representational. These are the seven functions of the language. That is what I'm going to give you an example. When we are saying that instrumental what does it mean i use a language as a tool that is what if i need something i'm going to use language to satisfy my need regularity if i want just to what to uh, control somebody okay if 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 somebody is annoying me i'm going to use language to stop his uh, misbehavior this is regularity interactional we need just to be uh, 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 let me say communicating with others i'm going to use language as a tool to interact with others personal i use language to express my own ideas imaginative if i if i'm going to say if i if i'm going to, uh, to use language to uh, for example write a poem writing uh, a novel just like this representational if i want just to uh, reflect from which society I am. For, for example, if I'm, I'm if I'm going to say that I'm uh, I'm from Arab uh, society, I'm going to use what Arabic. This is the language to represent me as what as uh, 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 for example a representative of the nation. You know the word nation. If I'm uh, if I'm an Arab, I'm going to use Arabic to reflect that I'm uh, I'm from Arab country. Get the point now? This is for holiday. Now we move to Widdison. 
Watson, another theorist of CLT, presented a view of relationship between linguistic system and their communicative value. And this is very important. So here, Watson make a relationship between linguistic system and communicative value in text and discourse. See here, there is another addition by another linguist. For Watson is saying that, he's saying that, it's a language is not only, uh, uh, let me say, spoken. We have literature as something to be written. When we talk about literature here, we are talking about the written form of the language. So we are not going to consider the spoken form only. We are going to consider the written form. And that, uh, that, that is to, to be said that the value, that is what to say the value. Okay, that is the literature. That is, the, let me say, the inheritance of language that is to be transmitted from one generation to the to the other. He focused on the communicative acts underlying the ability to use language for different purposes, and this is very important. For Woodison, he is saying that we have communicative acts. What does it mean here? We have certain we have certain situations. When we talk about communicative acts, we are talking about the situations that we are going to use the language. For example, if I say at a hotel, uh, at, at, uh, at the airport, uh, for example, in, in, in a restaurant, okay, all these things are to be called communicative acts, okay? And then we are going to relate the language according to the situation. Which expression is used to which uh, uh, communicative act or, uh, or situation? A more pedagogically influential analysis of communicative competence is formed in Canel and Swain. Again, we have Canel and Swain. They are having another thing to be added in the four dimensions of communicative, com uh, communicative competence. They are identified. Grammatical competence, okay. So with Canel uh, and Swain, they are having four competencies, not only linguistic, not only communicative, what do we have? Grammatical competence, social linguistic competence, discourse competence, strategic competence. We have four instead of two. CLT has rich theoretical basis, which may be called elliptic. Some of the characteristic of this communicative view of language as well is enough. Here, these points that we are going to have, the four points, are the summary of the summary of the theories that are to be applied in CLT. Okay, what is the benefit of all these productions from linguistics? What are the uh, the importance of linguistics to CLT? Number one, language is a system for expression of meaning. So meaning is to be considered according to CLT, uh, depending on the linguistic factors. Language is a system for expression of meaning. So language is a system. As we say that we have internal uh, grammar, so it is a system. Number two, the primary function of language is to allow interaction and communication. Okay, so what is, what is, the, what, what is, the, uh, what is language according to this? It's a tool. What is the aim behind language? That is what? To, 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 make, to make us able to interact and to communicate. Three, the structure of language reflects its functional and communicative values, okay? When we teach language, we, we consider functions rather than forms, and we, we explain this in detail. Number four, the primary units, the primary units, of language are not merely its grammatical and structural features, but categories of functional and communicative meaning as exemplified in discourse. Here, when we teach language, we have to have a classification. What does it mean classification? We relate language to situation. We have different situations, and then we have language functions. We are going to relate uh, functions to the situation. This expression is used in asking the way. This expression is used when we are in, in uh, 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 for example, in a, at a hotel. This, this, this expression is used when we are in a restaurant. All these things, what we call the relatedness between language 
and situation and that's why we have categories what you have category classification types of language this is for this situation this is for and that's why if you remember when you studied uh, uh, conversation in the first year you have situational dialogue if you remember situational dialogue you remember this or not just tell me when you when you were in the first year you studied dialogue situational dialogue you remember or not just tell me you remember it yes, or not? Yes, okay. Yes, this is what we call the relationship. This is what we call the relationship between language function and situation. You have in the dialogue, you have the expression, and then you have the title of the dialogue. That is what the situation. Can you use an expression for asking for a taxi to, 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 to use it in shopping? Of course not, because there is no relation between the situation and the language. You got the point now? So these are the four points that to be considered. We move to page 39. CLT, there, therefore, with its different str strands of what to teach, utterances as well as sentences, uh, functions as well as grammar, and how to teach it, meaning focus, chemical task, as well uh, more traditional study techniques has become generalized umbrella term to describe learning sequences with aim to improve students ability to communicate okay that's that is with theory of language so here briefly speaking we are talking about the linguist achievement and they are very important you have to know them sequentially what does it mean sequentially it means that you are going to have them one after the other first chomsky then himes then holiday then widdison then uh, swain and canal you have to know them one by one historically speaking and what what, what is the uh, let me say the addition for one to the other this is very important now we move to the theory of learning that is what about psychology we are going to have what do we have here little has been written about clt learning th uh, theory view but okay. elements of, yes i'm sorry for internet but the internet is so weak so can you when you explain the point <laughs> Explain in a slow way. Just wait. I I need just to know who is who is who is saying something now. Someone on leave. Very interesting. Anyway. Is he writing something? Is he writing th something? No, doctor. Anyway. Yes, Yasemin, you said something? Yes, doctor. I told you that the internet yes. is so weak. So when you yes. explain the points, I want you to explain in a slow way, a little bit, if you don't mind. Well, by the way, I'm trying my best just to uh, focus on the important point. This is one. Second, I have to finish with, the, with, with, with these things uh, uh, before the end of the time. You see now, still we have uh, maybe uh, 45 minutes. This is one. Second, when I'm, when I'm speaking, you see now, I'm, I'm asking you, is it clear or not? So I'm not, I'm not only uh, explaining, I'm asking, I'm checking. Is it okay, Yasemin? Okay. Uh, this excuse is one. me, doctor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And doctor, can we say that Widdison and uh, Holiday support the Heinz yeah. uh, theory? He, here, we are not going to say supporting. They are adding. You see now, each one has something. He achieves something, and the other is what is adding. The other is adding to them. You see now, Chomsky produced something. Then. We have Woodison is adding to Chomsky, completing his theory. And then Holiday is coming to complete Haim. 
and then Woodison is adding something to Halliday, and then Canal and Swain, uh, uh, they are adding to, to Woodison. This is the way. So each one is doing something and the other is competing. It's not just to, uh, to say that they are supporting. It's not to support, it's just to compete because, uh, because everything just to be done is unfinished. It's, 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 it's a matter of what? Of development because the, we are tracing them historically speaking. Historically speaking, this is the idea. Yes, doctor. They are not, they to, are, be done they all, they are not of, to be done all together. Yes, each one completes yes. to the other. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> yes, thank you, doctor. Yes, tell me, tell me. The function of language, uh, the items, it is important to explain or just to mention? Well, uh, of course, you have to know them as I explain them. Okay. When we talk uh, about them, I okay. If, on, some, yeah, if, if, if somebody, yes, yes, tell me. Uh, can I depend on the Mr. Catherine explain it or your explain it is enough? The way, the way that you understand, I, I need you just to, uh, to reflect what you understand. Do you and think example, that? Do you think? Example, do, do you think that they are? Okay. Do you think that uh, uh, there is a difference? No, somehow. No, no. It's not. I mean, I mean, uh, what is written here in the book, and what is to be said earlier? Do we have some sort of difference? No, no. Yeah, this is the idea. I mean, I need just to reflect here. Safe. I'm not asking you to repeat. I'm asking you to reflect what you understood. If it is okay, it will be accepted. If it is not, it will not be accepted. This is the way. Is that okay, Safe? Okay, okay, because you're not busy. Sorry? Okay, because the net is still. So here, uh, the reflection of what you understood is to be required in the exam. This is my aim. You will reflect what you understood. Okay, Victor. Now, is that okay to, to move the theory of learning? But, but I need you. When you. Once you feel that there is something difficult, just tell me. Repeat it. T tell me that we need to explain it more, please. So if you are going to say that the net is weak, it will be it will be okay for you to uh, I mean to uh, re-listen to the lecture once again. So no problem with this. If, if the net is weak just now, you can listen once again to the lecture and you can um, uh, ask me later if you feel that it is not the time to ask in the lecture. Theory of learning. Little has been written about CLT learning theory view, but elements of underlying learning theory can be discerned in some CLT practices. These elements are, number one, communication principle activities that involve real communication to promote learning. What does this mean? We have activities to promote Real communication, what does it mean here? Here, to reflect what do we have in CLT, we have to have activities to promote real communication because the aim behind learning is just what? It's just to speak the language. So this is what we call communication principle. That is what? My principle to learn is what? is to use language. Um, I'm learning English to use English. So this is what we call communication principle. That is what the principle that we are going to apply in learning to be what? To be reflected in the activities to be done in the class. That is what? To arrange activities, to promote real communication, to make students talk because the aim behind learning is just what? To have communication, to be a speaker of the language. 
clear or not, Astam? Number one, is it clear? Yes. Yes. We learn a language. We learn a, a, the, the principle. You know principle. What is my aim? What is my principle? To to what? Well, to have to have communication, and that's why we call it communication principle. That is, we you we learn to communicate. This is our aim. We are not going to learn English to study its structure. We do not learn English to study its literature. No, we learn English to speak English. Number two, task principle. Activities in which language is used for carrying out meaningful tasks promote learning. What does it mean? When we talk about task principle, it means that each activity has a function. Each activity is satisfying a, a, a specific need. So here, when we have activities, these activities should be aimful. Uh, and there is a task, there is a function to be, to be considered. Okay. Three. Meaningful to, to learn, to support the learning process. Okay. So here, when, when we are going to learn, we are going to have what the, the learner needs. Okay. We are going to prepare activities that are related to the student's needs. So it will be meaningful if the student students satisfy their needs so uh, learning is meaningful in the way that learners feel that they they are going to achieve what do they have okay so here learning is meaningful once students are achieving their aims so mean uh, learning is meaningful to them because they feel that they get what they need so it is meaningful now let us see what to what to have for uh, psychology okay Savinon believes that theories of second language acquisition is a source of for uh, language for learning theories of clt and he considers the role of linguistic social cognitive and individual variables in language acquisition what does this mean he is saying that language is related to certain factors linguistic social cognitive what does it mean cognitive something related to mental activities and individual variable what does it mean it means that there are individual differences what x is learning is different from y is learning because we are talking about individual differences so learning is individual learning is related to linguistic cognitive and uh, uh, social factors. So this is what he believes. We move to another scientist. By the way, these these things are related to, to psychology. So we are talking about another scientist. We talked about linguist, uh, li linguist. Now we are talking about uh, uh, psychology scientists. What do they believe? We move to Christian. Christian and other second language acquisition theorists typically stress that language learning comes about through using language communicatively. Okay, so this is their opinion. It means that they are behind language use. They feel that language is to be learned once it is used. Littlewood, so this is another scientist. So we have Savinon, we have Christian, and we have Littlewood consider a skill learning model of learning as an alternative theory for the CLT. What does it mean? It means that learning is a matter of modeling. What does it mean modeling? It means that we have samples. We have things that are related to skills. We are going to sample learning in the way that we are going to have different language skills to be activated and this sample will be related to the to the uh, to the method which is to be applied so we have we have a model which is related to the method and this method is going to what is going to uh, uh, 
uh, uh, I mean, work with all language skills. And that's why we call skill learning. What does it mean? We are going to consider language skill totally. Listening, speaking, reading, writing. According to this theory, the acquisition of communicative competence in a language is an example of a skills development. Now, this is very important. So how can we how can we consider communicative competence when you are developing these uh, the four skills totally listening speaking reading writing This involved both a cognitive and behavioral aspect and emphasized on practice as a way of developing communicative skills So here when we are talking about this we are talking about two things cognitive uh, aspect and behavioral aspect what is the difference between the two cognitive we are talking about the mental activities just like recognition application evaluation uh, uh, synthesis analysis this is what we call cognitive activities behavioral activity that is what what is to be practiced we are talking about what we have in our mind and what do we have to practice it uh, uh, when we are going to mix with others. So we are going to have both uh, aspects, cognitive, what do we have in mind, and behavioral, when we are going to mix, when we are going to use the language, when we are going to interact. So here, uh, here the same thing when we talk about linguistic factors, when we talk about language, uh, and uh, linguistic and non-linguistic factors, the same thing. So we are going to tackle them both. What do we have in our mind? That is what the linguistic factors and non-linguistic factors that are related to the situation when we are going to interact. <clears throat> okay, now we move to teaching techniques and materials in CLT. Are you with me or not? Just tell me. Yes. We are, we are yes. in, on yes. page 40. On page 40. Okay, what are they? Number one. Authentic materials, it means using language materials authentic to native speakers of the target language by providing a variety of situations. We explain this when we talk about authentic material, that is what using, what, what do we have in everyday uh, situation? As we said, uh, uh, hiring, for, for example, when we talk about hiring a car, taking a taxi uh, uh, in, uh, at a hotel, all these things uh, are what? are authentic because they are taking from everyday life situations. Scramble sentences. Okay, here we are talking about the exercises that we do when we are going to apply what do we have as a principles. So here, scramble sentences, what do we have? Here in this active student is giving a passage in which the sentences are in a scrambled order and they are told to scramble it so that the sentences are restored to their original order. By the way, send it clearly, and with this, we are going to ask, what is the aim by uh, by using this activity? Of course, this, th this activity is to be done in a group in which we are going to have communication. So we are going to, in, uh, to, to create uh, an atmosphere in which we are going to have classroom talk. Three, language games. Games are used frequently in CLT, and they are found enjoyable for students. By the way, when we talk about games, what, what kind of games here? Who can tell me what kind of games we are going to do game, in, in a class? Games about uh, question and yes. answering. Yes, we are going to make some sort of competition, group A and group B. Okay, yeah. who can answer from group A? Who can, it's just like a competition between the two. So it will be a game. Okay, who is going to win? Group A or group B? So it is uh, we changing the exercise, which is to be, uh, 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 I mean, uh, which is to be done in uh, side a class. Instead of having the this exercise as, let me say, something uh, to be done in, uh, let me say, a classic way, that is what each student will respond on the board. No, we make it uh, uh, just like a game. We divide the class into two groups, group A and group B, and they are going to compete. Who is going to answer first? And the one who is going to answer all the questions 
uh, first he will be the winner so it will be a game just like this so create it, it it's some sort of, uh, of of creating some sort of enjoyment you see now I want just to ask a question why to, uh, to uh, why do we need to create enjoyment in language learning this is very important a question I want you just to answer why do we why do we want to create enjoyment in language learning who can answer yes please yes what yes uh, because the learning is uh, something uh, difficult or something uh, sometime it will be boring we will need to enjoy the student and uh, create a game for them to enjoy them Yes, the yes, very good. Yes, Fatma, you have something? Uh, the question. Uh, acute uh, information. No, one by one, one by one, one by one. Now, while you said something. Now, uh, Fatma, Fatma, you have something? Uh, to make the learners not feel in boring when you when you study the uh, the learners. Yes, the same, the same point. Yes, the same point. And Muhammad, you have something? Muhammad Hamid? Yes, the also in order yes. to make the students love the material or love this language uh, and uh, make them uh, have a desire to practice this language yes what you said is 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 correct but here i want you just to consider the word enjoy what does this mean who can give me the synonym of enjoy love, when i say love they're doing love their no action. no no it's not it's not no Please. enjoy enjoy the word enjoy. What, oh, okay 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 what what to what to feel what to feel when you when you enjoy what to feel entertaining sir? exciting no 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 not excited entertainment one word i need one word one word Doctor, have fun. Yes. Satisfied. No. Satisfied with your. No. 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 Doctor. Obligation. Yes. What he learn? No. Interesting, Victor. Yes, Victor. No. Yes. No. No. Uh, can we make a lot more no. understanding for the students? No, no. Just listen now. Stop talking and listen. Enjoy means relax. 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 Doctor, when doctor, you feel, you the question? when you feel, when you enjoy, sorry, just listen, Abdullah. When you feel enjoyed, you feel relaxed. You feel, of course, uh, somebody saying happy, but you feel relaxed. What does it mean? Here, we need to make students feel relaxed because we need students to feel that he is not studying a science. He is studying to communicate automatically without thinking that he is learning. So when you feel enjoy, it means you feel relaxed. You feel that you are at home. You feel relaxed. When I say feel at home, relax, what does it mean? You forget about, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I mean, school. You forget about you are in a class. You forget about that you are, uh, let me say, doing something formal. You, you feel relaxed. You feel that you are at home. You feel is that you are doing something natural. This is what we call enjoy. That's need to be learned. You feel enjoy. Victor? You feel enjoy. You feel relaxed. Got, got the point. You, you feel that in. you are free. You feel that you are not. You are not intending to have language as a science. You feel that you are using language without thinking that you are studying a language. Okay, so you 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 are going to learn a language by what? By having different activities that you enjoy, rather than activities that are to be obligatory to be done, and there is uh, some some sort of what a strict you know strict system to to uh, to have, and you feel that you have something. When you say something boring, why to say something boring? Because here you feel that you are obliged to do something that you are unwilling to do it so uh, when when you feel this way you are not feeling okay you are not feeling enjoyed you are not relaxed this is the idea 
So here we need students to feel relaxed, to feel that they enjoy learning a language because they are what? They are using as a means of communication rather than a science to study. Okay. <clears throat> now, Dr. number four, we I have six shell strip. I said satisfied yes. and this word is almost uh, relaxed. Satisfied is uh, synonyms for relax. No, here, here no, so to satisfy, it means that you want just to use language as an instrument. But here, when we feel relaxed, this is something psychological, Abdullah. That is, that is when we talk about something related to psychology. That is, you feel free. You feel that this is not just like uh, physics or mathematics or geography. No, this is the, the, the lesson that you are going to feel free. You are not going to be formal. Okay, this is the idea. Picture strip stories, it is used with many activities. It could be done by showing one picture and as the students predict what this uh, second picture would look like. By the way, these, these uh, activities, okay, uh, or these exercises that are to be done, I believe that they are explained well and they are clear, but what is required just to say it as they are in the book. Raoul played this. This technique gives the students an opportunity to uh, uh, practice uh, communication in different social contexts, in different social roles. Now we have Jigsaw. Students listen to different tape material and then uh, communicate their content to others in the class. Functional communication activities, they include such as, uh, uh, I mean, tasks as learners comparing sets of pictures and noting similarities and differences, completing map, following directions, solving problems from shared clues. Social interaction activity, they include conversation and discussion succession, dialogues and travel play, simulation, uh, improvisations and debates. Now, we move to techniques, procedures of CLT. I believe that uh, 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 with this, we are going to have uh, uh, some sort of, uh, let me say, a discussion of, again, those who are methodologists and what do they believe. Here, with, uh, uh, with, with the two uh, scientists that we have, they, they have certain points just to what? To move on, uh, 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 I mean, uh, quickly, just like presentation of a, a brief uh, dialogue or several mi mini dialogues uh, preceded by motivation and discussion of function and situation. I believe that these these points are not uh, to be considered uh, uh, as uh, uh, important. So uh, this uh, this will be uh, left. I need you just to consider that I'm going to. Uh, uh, I mean, delete some items that are found in the book and they are not to be required from you. So uh, on page uh, 41, the 11 points that we have, they are going to be left. So cross it in the book, cross it, you know, cross it to put a cross on it. They are not required in the exam. They are not required in the exam. The 11 points that are found on page 41, they are not required. Yes, yes. In the we, final move, we move to 42. 42, John, uh, Johnson and Johnson identify five core characteristics that underline current application of communicative methodology. These are very important. Appropriateness, language use reflects uh, uh, the situation of, uh, of using and must be appropriate to that uh, situation depending on the setting, the roles of participants and the purpose of the communication. Thus, learners may need to be able to use a formal as well as informal styles of speaking. Message focus, learners need to be able to create and understand messages that are real meanings. Psycholinguistic processing, CLT activities seek to engage learners in the use of cognitive and other the processes that are important factors in second language acquisition, risk-taking, learners are encouraged to make guesses 
and learn from their errors. Number five, free practice CLT encourages the use of holistic practice involving this uh, simultaneous use of a variety of sub skills rather than practicing individual skills one piece at a time. These are to be to be uh, required.